Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In our last shot, we saw how easy it was to play eFootball on your Android phone using a controller with Mantis Gamepad Pro. But today, we are going deeper. I'll show you how you can fine-tune your setup with eFootball and make eFootball feel buttery smooth with your controller. The setup tutorial is on the top right, so let's jump right in. First things first, your Mantis buddy needs to be activated for Mantis to detect any connected controllers. Here you can use any Bluetooth or wired controllers and it should work. Now we need to add eFootball into our game section. It's pretty straightforward. After connecting your gamepad, now let's launch eFootball. In order to use your game controller with Mantis in the most efficient manner, you need to make some changes to the game settings of eFootball. First up, go into Extras, click on Game Settings, go to Play Settings, then first things first, turn off Smart Assist, then Controller Type, you'll have to select Virtual Pad instead of Touch and Flick, then select Fixed Directional Stick Type, then Cursor, Change, set it to Semi-Auto, Movement Input Range can be Medium, and set defending control type to standard. That should really be it. Now we'll go into setting up the mapping for Mantis Gamepad. On the top left corner, you'll be seeing the Mantis floating icon button with which you can map your controller buttons easily to your phone's touch screen. There's tons of options you can alter according to your taste. Just have a look. I will start off by mapping the L stick first, then a button for the passing, then the shooting button, then I'll go ahead and map the through ball, which I will map to Y. And we need to map the R2 or RT button trigger, just printing. And for defending, we don't need to do much different. We'll just set up LB as the switching button. That'll be the basic layout. That should be all for now. Let's start again. As I play along, I would be mapping additional controls like crossing, like goal kicks, and the complete mapping screenshot is put at the end of the video. So make sure you watch the whole video. Drop a like and tell me in the comments what game I should be testing next with Mantis. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel.